As the holiday season nears its end, restaurants are trying to squeeze as many orders as they can, whether that's in-person dining or takeout orders. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera visited a couple and found out how the Omicron variant has impacted businesses. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, okay? It's non-stop work in D'Amelio's kitchen. Aside from the daily dining workload, they've got 165 catering orders to do for Christmas Eve. Orders they're happy to fill, especially after last holiday season. Depressing. There was no Christmas last year. No, no catering. Uh, no trays. No, no in-house. Nobody came to the restaurant. It was, it was very, very bad. It was sad. This year, they've hosted a number of holiday parties again. Though fears over the Omicron variant did create a little obstacle. We did have a couple cancellations. Uh, a few okay. people canceled their catering orders and canceled their reservations here. It's affected a little bit, but not as bad as, as last year. Cancellations hit the Mona Lisa restaurant in Woolcott a little harder. There, owner Cypher Chowdhury says they had six parties of around 20 to 30 people canceled this month, all because of the Omicron variant. They're still trying to fill reservations for Christmas Eve. Tomorrow, yeah, usually we get uh, uh, booked up for New Year's Christmas Eve. We haven't, maybe halfway, half. Actually, less than half now. Oh, okay. Maybe around 70, 80. Half would be 110. Okay. Full, full would be 220 or something like that. Yeah. But Chowdhury's happy to even still be open. He's going to wait out the fears, as he's done all pandemic. Once everybody finds out about Omicron, really how bad it is, yeah. things will get better again, hopefully. After this Christmas weekend, the focus now is filling up reservations for New Year's Eve. D'Amelio's still has a couple openings for that night, as does Mona Lisa's in Woolcut. Here in Waterbury, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Dennis, thank you.